Hey guys, so today's video is on the red flags in Tamia Mpesane and Andile Mpesane's marriage. Now, a little bit of background information. Tamia Lo is turning 28 years old this year. She's an influencer and a model. Where else, Andile is turning 22 years old this year and he is born into generational wealth since he is the multi-millionaire's son, Mamkeze. Now, the first red flag is their age gap. Now, they have a six-year age gap with Andile being the young one since he's the male and Tamiya being the old one. Now, it's not common to get a situation like this i know it's normally common to get the male being the older and the female being the younger but even if i definitely would have side eye side eye because i mean andile is in his early 20s whereas tamia is in her late 20s so it is a huge age gap also looking at the stages where they're at if Andile was a little bit older, it would make some sense if their age gap was large. But since he's, in my eyes, a baby, and when he got engaged, I think he was still a teenager at that time. And Andile's dating relationships and history is also kind of taboo since he is used to dating older women. And one isn't sure if it's because of the fact that they're attracted by his money or it's just his type but there has been a conversation of is he really getting groomed so number one is there is huge age gap for sure number two has been the question is tamia in it for money now we all know that andy lempisane is born into money and he is continuing the family legacy by being part of the famous and money making soccer team which is owned by his mom and i'm sure he's also owning it so he's someone who is set for a very very long time now there is no way that Tamia didn't know Andile Mpisane, especially after they hit um, reality um, TV show which just showcased the amount of wealth. So a lot of people did question if she truly was interested in money. Now, it's kind of like a 50-50 for me. I feel like there is nothing wrong if she did get attracted to him for money i mean some people get attracted to people for looks like i feel like it's the same thing you know it, it, they're both vain you know it's just that she has every right to feel like she wants a certain guy because she wants certain things to be provided for her maybe her love language is acts of services but definitely this is one red flag that people have noticed in their relationship now the third thing is there were rumors that this was actually an arranged marriage by mom Kizé. now the time when tamia came in the picture it was kind of sketchy because that was around the time that Sitelo was still in the picture. Now, we all know that Sitelo and the Mpisane family did not get along. And rumors and speculations and sources were actually coming out saying that maybe Mamkize had organized Tamiya to come in the picture because of the fact that she wanted Andile to just move on and separate from Sitelo. Because remember, Sitelo and Andile were basically having an on and off again relationship, which I'm guessing the family were like just fed up with. So people felt like um, Andile, through the videos and the pictures of that engagement day, it seemed like he didn't even know what was happening. I mean, it seemed very sudden because the suit he was wearing was not even fitting him. And he looked so confused. He looked like he just came home and he was told that he must dress up and get married, you know. And also how close 
Tamiya and Mamkize became so quickly was also kind of weird. It seemed like this was someone that Mamkize definitely wanted Andile to get married to. Now, number four is how quickly she got pregnant. This isn't a red flag for me because obviously if you're having unprotected sex, I mean, what else do you expect? And with Andile's track record, because he does have two kids outside Tamiya, you know, he seems like someone who um, gets it down without the rubber. But that also kind of allows um would i say the females to take advantage of that because i mean if you're having a baby by a rich man you you kind of know you also said for life and you know your kid is said for life but i definitely do think that it's 50 50 i know people found it very odd that she did get pregnant so quickly um was it something else that she was hoping for you know but i do feel like if they were having unprotected sex i mean what else do people expect now the last red flag was how quickly she got into the family business now what people don't know what people know is that Tamir uh, okay, is actually mom, one I of know, the top people and I found in the family I have so many people that I can ask for advice and, and ask for help people were very surprised by this one because Smartly and Pesane is actually into fitness and they really did expect her to have like taken the role of what Tamia is doing because she's always been someone who's loved fitness and the role that Tamia is doing is an office job because people felt like oh maybe it's because of the fact that Swatley has um that accident and that um casket that she's wearing and Tamia is going to be better on the pitch I don't think so and knowing someone like Mam Kize, I definitely do know that she would have scented the job to be friendly for her daughter but it was very strange how she got into um, family businesses so quickly especially without Smartly getting or maybe Smartly has some shares that we don't know but anyway that's the end of today's video do comment down below any more red flags or any more speculations you think are weird or odd in this marriage i do wish them luck and until next time please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that post notification bell until next time bye